Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. Oh my goodness, this water fountain, this solar fountain I made is a keeper. This is my favorite one. I know I say that with so many of them, but this one is a game changer. Watch and see how easy it was to put together. I just went to the thrift store and I bought a bowl and I bought a drinking cup, the ones that come with the straw. I had all my ideas, but oh my goodness, when I started putting it together and I videotaped it as I was putting it together, so it was like you and I were learning together. It was magnificent. I can't believe how good it came out. And not only that, but the very moment I put it out, the hummingbirds came to check on it. And of course, they took a bath. Watch this video and I'll give you some more pointers at the end on how to make this. And I guarantee you, this is going to be your favorite fountain to make. You probably even have a lot of the items in your house. I'm going to show you here how to make a water fountain, solar fountain out of a cup that comes with a straw and a bowl. That's all we're gonna need. And of course, a fountain, solar fountain kit, which I'm gonna leave here. Going to move the bowl out of the way. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Now I paid, I paid $1.99 for it. So I'm gonna just take the sticker off. We don't need it. Here is a fountain kit. Never opened, brand new. There's the instructions. There's all the little doodads that come with it, the attachments. And here is the solar fountain kit. This is the most important type of kit. Let's move this out of the way. This comes with the panel and the long corded pump. You need the one with the cord. So that's what we need here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how we're going to attach the straw. Now this straw came with this cup. So this is very important, and let's see. Oh my goodness. This straw, a standard straw with one of these cups that come with a straw fits. We don't need anything else right now. That's all we need. So we now know this is going to work perfect. We won't need any tubing. Let's move the solar fountain out of the way and let's get to work. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I need to make a hole on the top. So we need a hole in the center, hole that the straw will go through. Now we're going to have to work this hole. You can drill it if you want to use a drill, but I always use my soldering iron. This is a very thick cut. So this will take a while doing it with a soldering iron, unlike the thin plastic I usually use. But we can do it, just take your time. Now don't put your straw through until you know this is cool enough. You could melt the straw. You want to make sure this is cool enough. Pretty good. Okay, that's going to work. The next thing, I want the pump to sit here. So there's two ways of doing this. I can either notch the side. This cord comes apart. Some of them come apart and some of them don't. This one comes apart. You unscrew this and you pull it apart. So. I could either notch it or I can make a hole big enough for this. I'm going to make a hole big enough for this. The pump will go in here and this will come through. So we're going to do this a little differently. You can notch it, but I'm going to screw the bottom back on. Now, real quick, normally you would drink out of a cup this way, but because the base is wider, I want this to be on the bottom for stability. Now I'm going to make a hole through here that this will go through. And when using a starting iron, it's best to use it outside. This won't work with the flat solar fountains, the one that comes on a panel. You will need the whole kit. I like using a ceramic plate to hold my soldering iron because the stands are, you know, it might tip over on the stand. Almost need to get that little thing through. Here we go. Let me unplug this. Okay, now if I want, I could scratch the top a little bit. This gives the hummingbirds a place to land. 
because they have tiny little nails. And this is like a like a tree branch. Tree branches have that roughness. When well, you're making it rough, so when they come in, they can land. Their nails grips this so good. And this is good for other birds too. Goldfinches, house finches, all kinds of little birds, wrens. And you can always go back and do more if you want. Okay. Now we're going to bring the cord through. This is a long cord. And this is designed so you can sit the solar panel anywhere you want. So we're going to bring this whole cord through. I'm going to put the pump back together. This is going to be amazing. It fits in so good. I'm going to put it through the bottom. This is going to be like the best unit you've ever made. Screw that on. We're done. Now I can cut this to the length I want. Your pump is inside. So whatever you go to put this in, you can just lift this out. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. This is it. You can sit this anywhere and you're going to have the best water fountain in the world. And when it's dirty, you lift this out, you wash it, fill it up with water and put it back. If you feel not enough water is going through this big hole we made, we can always make more holes closer to the bottom to make sure the water gets to it. We're going to hook the panel back. All we did was unplug it, screw that back on. And now all we have to do is find a place to put it. We're done. And there you go. And all you have to do is cut the straw now to the length that you want. And if you feel it just needs a little bit, you know, need to smooth it out, you can always use a soldering iron. This. Okay, see that made it smooth. Just a little bit on the top, make sure it's smooth. This is ready to set up. So I've decided on this one to put a little perch. And you can do it different ways, but I'm going to just make a hole. Now, remember, you've got a straw, so you're going to offset it so it doesn't hit the straw. So I'm probably going to want it something like this. You're going to make a hole like right here. Just someplace where they can land in case they're not sure. Once they know it, it won't matter. Okay, so we can get that through there. And then I can see how the perch is going to go through where. And I see the perch... I can see that the perch through the plastic is going to come through oh, right there. So I'll, I'll make the, the other hole right here. It's not in the middle. You can't go in the smack in the middle because you've got the straw there. Now we're going to make a hole here. And if you have to, you can always adjust it or use another perch if this one doesn't work out. Make the hole a little bit bigger. It's not going to hurt anything, even if you pull the perch out. It's still going to do the same thing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. Now they can come. They can land here and check the water out. And if this breaks or something happens to it, get another perch and stick it in. Now we've taken it outside. Let's fill up the bowl. There it is. Look at that. Is that cool? Now, like I said, when you go to clean it, you just lift this up, you go clean it out, and then when you're done, you put it back, and that's, you just have to find a place where you want to put your solar fountain panel. That's it. We are done. A self-contained fountain. Is that cool? And this can be set anywhere you want in a matter of seconds, any new bowl, switch it out. It's completely Portable, the entire unit and the birds are going to love it. Isn't that gorgeous? There it is. And if you want, you can use a little cap. It will spread the water a little bit more. You can just sit it on there and that's all there is to it. 
And if for some reason the straw doesn't fit, I've got videos on how to make the tubing bigger or smaller. Check those videos out. And if it didn't fit on the pump directly, the straw might have fit on one of the parts that go to the pump. So there's multiple ways of putting that straw onto the pump. So there it is all set up. I put it out and the hummingbirds have been coming and taking a bath. I don't have videos of other birds yet because I literally have only had it out there for less than a day. It has been so fun to make. Literally took minutes. The tip I want to give you is if you're going to use a tumbler, one of these plastic acrylic drinking cups with the straw, and be sure to make sure you get the straw because the straw is fantastic. You don't have to think about tubing or anything. Check out the tumbler and see if you can turn it upside down, design-wise. Now, you can put it either way you want, but this is the perfect design to put together. So just look at it and see. This one easily could be turned upside down. You could go with a solid color. You could even go with a clear one and fill the inside with marbles or rocks or something. I just wanted something simple, but you think out of the box how it's going to work better for you and then set it up. If for some reason your solar fountain doesn't unplug like mine did, you can just make a notch on the bottom and do it that way. But most of them do. I only have like one solar fountain that doesn't unplug. The rest of them all come that way in the panel unplugged. So I hope I've given you an idea this is no joke. This is my favorite one because all you have to do is pick that whole unit up and the panel and move it to any bowl, any place. You could sit it in a swimming pool on a pedestal if you wanted, as long as the base is in water. Any pond, if you've got a pond in your yard, you can sit it in a pond. It's so versatile. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these. It will stay cleaner too by having its unit inside a plastic cup. You could even wrap it with tool if you wanted to make sure that no leaves or particles get in there. I don't worry about that. So easy to take apart and clean. I've got videos on that if you need to know, but I hope I have given you ideas on how to make a solar fountain. And this is no doubt my favorite one of all. And the hummingbirds absolutely love it. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow and make a fountain for the birds. Bye-bye.